RoboCup is an international competition where fully autonomous robots, that is no human intervention, uh, play games of uh, robotic soccer. They play soccer against each other. It's supposed to be the parallel competition to the real World Cup. Instead of having people play it, it's robots. The actual competitions are, are very exciting. There's teams from all over the world that have spent a lot of time in building a system that will hopefully win the championship for them. So it's great for us, for the Cornell team, to go and meet these people, to talk about our various uh, design strategies, how our systems differ, compare notes, etc., and then to actually play the teams against each other and see which one is better. The competition was wonderful. I got to meet tons of different people that were coming together to do the same thing I was interested in doing and learn about their specific research. And of course winning was fantastic also. <laughs> I graduated from Cornell University a year ago with a computer science degree. The summer after that I continued working at Cornell with my RoboCup team. At the end of the summer we went to Australia and competed in the 2000 RoboCup competition and won the small size league. I came back to the United States a world champion and then jumped into a job at Raytheon Company in Boston. I work on simulation and the skills that I was able to bring in with me came directly from RoboCup. Come up with different testing uh, kind of scenarios, write it out. I spent four and a half years now at Cornell as a mechanical engineer, in both a, an undergraduate and a master's degree program. I'm the mechanical group lead, and I've been the team lead for the past two years for our RoboCup team. Our responsibility is actually designing and constructing the robots. 4345 is from here to there. Yep. The sophistication of the robots has progressed over the years. We've taken the robots from one level and not just upgrade them, but revolutionary uh, changes have been made to the way that they can play soccer. We've added the, the dribbling and the, and the ball control and the movement uh, that didn't exist before. Here's the complication. If you have four, so you just want to put uh, this one drive axis to be in this direction. The toughest uh, challenge for us to build a RoboCup system is not so much the individual technical components, but rather how to put all of them together. Yeah, the motors won't come together at a point, they'll come together in a by necessity, the students must learn how to communicate with each other and convey their ideas. Now this stuff, the whole thing would move like this. So it would have a small slot. And the way we do that is to uh, expose them to the systems engineering approach to designing complex systems. So a lot of the students are part of the systems engineering effort at Cornell, which includes classes on how to work together in multidisciplinary teams. And a lot of it is just experience, having a lot of team meetings, subgroup meetings, making sure that the students communicate properly. From National Assembly, we got our PIDs in. The most interesting part of this project is actually working together with all these different teams and um, how the interaction works. I've never really understood how important a systems organization is until this project. RoboCop is so large, no one person can do the whole thing. And you have to subdivide the tasks up, and yet you have to collaborate and come together and put all this work together in the end to have a finished product. The RoboCop project is an example of one of the team projects that's an important part of a modern engineering education. Uh, we find that this gives the students a chance to uh, work in groups, to learn some team activities, to attack substantial problems, the kind of thing they may get involved in when they're out uh, in their jobs in the future. RoboCup is a very good example. It's one of several such team projects we have. The uh, Formula SAE race car, for example, the underwater autonomous vehicle, uh, the moon buggy, all of these are the types of projects that really engage our students uh, over the semester allows them to build something they can tangibly see, it gives them an indication of what the advantages, the, the rewards of an engineering profession may be. What if you reduce the number of teeth here? Still gonna have friction because the One of the great things about RoboCup is that it's extremely easy to motivate the students to build the system. A lot of these kids that are involved in the project this is what they've always wanted to do. They've, they've played with Lego all their lives, they've built uh, little cars, uh, worked on computers, and once they come here and they realize that they actually do have the skills to build a complex system, well that adds to the enthusiasm. There's nothing like this positive reinforcement of realizing that you really have the skills to build something as truly complex as, uh, as a team of robots that play soccer.
I'm a senior mechanical engineer and I'm on the mechanical engineering part of the team and this year I'm responsible for designing a dampening system to better catch the ball when it's shot at us or passed to us. What attracted me was the whole idea of autonomous robots, especially in the undergraduate level. It's, just, it's very high-tech stuff and I, th I thought it was amazing that we could actually, as an undergrad, work on something that cutting edge. I'm a computer science major in the Arts and Sciences School. My primary role is working on the artificial intelligence. One of the really exciting things for me is that I get to put together a lot of the different aspects of the project and see it all come together. The mechanical engineers, they design the robots. The electrical engineers, they design the boards. And I work on the AI, but I also get to run the AI and I get to see the robots all moving together, the whole system working together all at once. A really exciting part of the project to work on. It was in reverse polarity, right? As a little kid, I love taking apart things. I take apart everything from TV remotes to uh, computers to everything. From a young, young age, you know, I was had this attachment with electronics. The RoboCup project was actually the main reason I came to Cornell. Before that, I was kind of like unsure about where I wanted to go. After I heard about this project and I talked to Professor Raff about it and uh, came here to visit, I was like, well, I gotta go there because I love this robotics thing. I mean, it's amazing. The first time we get all our boards back, we turn on the robots. It's like, I tell my friends, I joke around that now I know what it feels like to give birth to a child. It's a real pleasure for me to be able to work with such a large group of extremely talented individuals. Cornell students are, are very good engineers, but they're also very good at communication skills. They're also very good at managing their time. They're very fun kids, and I feel very fortunate that I can incorporate such a large group of students into my research program.